Hi everyone, I'm back for another video. Um, I've, I've been thinking a lot about what to, what to talk about and um, a lot of things come to mind because I feel like I have so much I would want to say. Um, I feel like I've gone through a lot of stuff um, and I, I'm not the greatest at um, talking but um, but yeah I just wanted to share some of the um, some hard situations I've gone through and um, and I don't talk about this um, for for you know people to um, how do I say it I hope you you get something positive out of this and it helps you that's my only intention for my story um, to help you be a better person um, that's my hope um, oh my gosh that's so loud um, so anyways where should I start where should I start um, when I was um, when I was young when I was born I guess I don't know how old I, I was maybe a couple months um, my mom said that um, I almost died um, I don't know what happened but she took me to the hospital and I, I was able to survive but she says that I was almost dead that I didn't move and I was lifeless basically and they took me to a doctor and and she was very afraid she thought that I wasn't gonna make it and um, and they took me to the doctor and I guess they just gave me an injection and and I was able to make it and um and I was tiny I was really really tiny um and I survived um and ever since then I've had I've had um hard couple hard times um, when I was younger um, in my teens um, I decided to do what I wanted to live my life um, um, and just do what I wanted basically <laughs> um, so I would hang out with um, people bad people who were you know I guess people call them gangsters um, and um, I guess I just felt like I was accepted and I felt like they were my family in a way um, and you know that's the situation I, I decided to put myself in um, and and you know, some people think that it's all about parties and and having fun, but um, a lot of people that I knew um, ended up going to jail or um, just somehow didn't end up um, doing well, just 
really bad for being shot, um, going to jail, just not, not well, that they're, you know, and, um, and I, I was able to make it through that as well. Um, and, um, it was, um, it was a long time ago, but, um, but, um, yeah, I had a lot of, a lot of, um, people who I thought they were my friends, and, um, and, you know, they, they weren't, um, but, but a lot of them ended up, ended up in bad places, let's just say that. Um, what else? I was also in an abusive relationship. Um, here I go saying I'm again. I say it a lot. <laughs> and, um, but I don't like to talk too much about it. It's very personal. Well, every all of this is very personal. But again, um, I'm saying it to help you because I want it to help you. And, um, I don't know your life or anything, but I just hope it gives you something positive. But, like I was saying, I was in an abusive relationship, and, um, he, he physically abused me, physically, mentally, whatever you want to call it. One time he he choked me so much, um, I thought I was gonna die. But I made it. I made it through. Um, I've had a lot of situations. <laughs> oh, if you can tell. Um, I, I've gone through a couple eye surgeries, um, that, I believe there one was called the retinal eye detachment in one of my eyes. Very painful afterwards. That's a very long, like, healing process. But it takes you, like, I think a couple weeks or months to heal. I, I did it a, a while ago. But, um, yeah, it's a, it's a very, very uh, painful surgery. <laughs> and if, if I would say anything about that, um, and I guess, I think I heard that mostly people who get those surgeries or people who are um, more older, so, um, I was, I was surprised, um, but I, um, I also, um, have, have gotten a couple injections in my eye, both of my eyes. Um, I don't know what they're called, but, um, the injections at first were so scary because you, <laughs> you want to hide from it. You don't want to see it. Um, I don't like shots. I don't like, <laughs> uh, the thing that I don't like is injections. So I always look away. And... With those injections, I can't look away. I have to look straight. And I have to look right when they're going in my eye. And it's a little bit painful. For sure, it's a little bit painful. Um, so I've, I've been through a couple, um, hard situations, um, 
but what I wanted just to, to, to say is, um, through all that, yeah, I'm still here, and, um, I'm still alive. I feel like that's why I'm so positive, because not that any of that stuff that I went through is is good. It's not. It's been really hard. But I feel like it has helped me to appreciate my life and to see that that it's not me in control. That there's something greater than me. Something bigger than me. Protecting me and taking care of me. Even after I've I've done bad things. And and I'm so thankful. that I'm still alive, that I'm here, that I can share this with uh, people to encourage them, to motivate them, that, you know, there is a God, there is a God who loves you, who died on the cross for you, who wants a relationship with you. Um, and um, I just feel like um, God's love, God's mercy is It's so beautiful. I don't think I will ever be able to understand it. I don't know if I ever will be, but I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for for God, for Jesus, because um. I, I could have died when I was a baby, but I didn't. I could have died when I was hanging out with all those bad people, and I didn't. I could have died from that abusive relationship. But I didn't. Um, my vision could be worse, could be really bad. But if you look at me, I feel like, um, well, I can't, I can't really even tell that I have a retinal eye detachment. And that I've had a lot of injections in my eyes. That's the good news of God. He, he is um, good. He's good even when we are not. He's good even when we don't deserve it. Um, He's great, and I just wanted to, to tell you that, to say that God is good. Um, and I tried to go out into the world because um, I thought that I would be happy 
and it would bring me joy and it brought me the opposite it brought me a lot of pain a lot of pain and suffering and um, I didn't listen I didn't listen to to God to God's words of wisdom for me because I wanted to to experience life I guess but if I would have um, the opportunity I would definitely not have done that um, um, I feel like God God is everything um, God is my my hope God is my light my life and without him I wouldn't be here And, um, I just wanted to say that, to say that, you know, God doesn't just do this for me. He, he does this for, for everybody. We're all his children. He loves everyone. Um, and I think that's all I wanted to say. I hope you... If you don't have a relationship with God, I hope this um, helps you to understand Him better, um, to to search for Him. Um, thank you for watching.